registered geek. There are things that are important to me in life, like my tea, uh, my PC, my wife, of course, of course, it comes for your wife. Uh, but one of the most important things for my geekiness side is, of course, my mobile phone. So why is a mobile phone so important? Well, it allows me to take my geekiness with me wherever I go. I can play retro games on the go at work, I'm supposed to be working, whatever. I can uh, surf websites about geeky stuff, and generally do geeky stuff. And it's the one gadget that stays with you all day, most days, every day. So it's quite important to a geek, their mobile phone. Now, for the past two years, I've had to pull with this. The original Blackberry Storm. This is the one, not the two. This has proved to be a bit of a, to put it mildly, a bit of a pig. Constantly breaking down, about to replace them because of broken screens, reception's awful, uh, games, well, <laughs> and it's just freezing up, constantly having to reboot it, it's just been a bit of a pig. But thankfully, my contract is up and it was time for a new phone. So, we've got this, the Samsung Galaxy S. Originally, we were going to look at the uh, Samsung Tab, but uh, a bit bulky. So we went for the, for the S. The reason we went for this phone is because it runs the Android operating system, which apart from being a hell of a lot better on the web, like pop up web pages and you can run videos from inside the web pages, it also opens up a whole world of gaming, including modern games, old games, free games, and also emulation of old systems. For example, I've already got four of the Atari 2600 games on this phone in an emulator, but the software we're going to look at in another video. In the future, what we're going to be doing is doing some reviews of the games and emulators on this system, both modern, old, paid for, and free, because there are some excellent free games out there for this system. But in this video, we're just going to do an unboxing and have a quick look around the hardware of the phone. And we're going to save the software, we'll do a quick software tour in another video. So, let's crack on the and have a look at this bugger. Right. Goodbye, evil phone. <coughs> Just as an afterthought, what do you think is going to happen to this phone? Well, this time I am not going to be selling it to one of those stupid companies that buy phones off you. Because last time they quote you, and then when you send it off, they knock money off of this, that, and bloody everything, and you end up paying, getting very little money back. It's a scam. Personally, I wouldn't bother. So, here is the new one. Mm, look at that. Ooh. Nice case. Yeah, it's even from the L set. It's uh, a rather lovely object, or something. Oh, Samsung Mobile. There we go. So, let's have a look at it itself. This is what I was communicating on Twitter with to people now. Instead of that bloody unreliable Blackberry. Now, obviously, this is not the first time I've had this out. I've been playing with this for a couple of days now. So, it's not got the original stickers on. And, uh, but there she is. Just gently, oh, get her out. Now, as an offset, let's have a look at the size of her compared to the old Blackberry. Yes, that's a big mother phone. Uh, that's 3.2 inch screen. That's uh, 4 point something. It's much larger. Well, we well, let's have a quick look around how thin it is. Look at this. Look at the thinness of that compared to the... It's amazing. Uh, the back has this lovely sort of, uh, what you call it? Oh, carbon fibre look to it. It's plastic, but it's carbon fibre and it's extremely light. This is one of the lightest phones I have ever had. Um, just boot her up. Look at that. It does take a while. But the screen is just 
so gorgeous. Yes. And there we go into the booting screen. Beautiful graphics on it. Oh, uh, there was one fault I found with this phone. One fault I found over the last two days with this phone is that it hasn't got any faults. It doesn't seem to have any faults at all. Now, she's so booting in. I just put in my secret code because you have to rub the screen on these. Don't well, you can, but so you don't. You can uh, rub the screen to put the codes in. And we'll just let it boot up because it's got a antivirus so it's scanning a bit. Whilst doing that, let's have a look at the rest of the box. You get that layer. Then you get this next layer which I've put in upside down because I'm a dill head. Which has all the documentation in. It has a nice, big, thick, proper user manual. Unlike the bloody Blackberry which just had this tiny little rubbish manual left just to guess. And it was really convoluted to use. Then you get all the boring bits, adapter, uh, communications lead, which I haven't put back in the box here, and a pair of headphones, which I haven't tried yet, but they actually look half decent. So, it's a very nice box. Everything seems to be very nice about it. And if you touch it, she comes back on. And you can see the Android 2 screen with the live wallpaper there. Uh, you've got YouTube, Market, Internet, uh, so Gmail and Twitter and all my messages stuff popping up there we're not going to look at this now because uh, I'm going to save that for another video but I already have quite a few games on here as you can see including uh, an Atari emulator and I've got all the games from Atari on there in this room for me to take to work isn't that bloody brilliant so we shall soon be having a look a quick tour of the software I have on this. So that's my unboxing. Thank you very much. And no fighting between Android and I iPhone people on my channel. Okay, this video is not an incentive for a battle between the iPhone and the, this. So there you go. I still would not be pleased if you do that. But feel free if you want. I'm not that repressive. Okay, see you all in the next video.